In this video, I'm going to show you how to create histograms in Tableau. Histograms are useful for understanding the distribution of your data. They're also useful for identifying outliers and potential causes for those outliers. I've got two examples here on the screen. The example at the top is looking at the number of times that each product has been ordered. So for example, I have 284 products that have been ordered four times. I have 60 products that have been ordered 10 times. Down in the bottom, you can see that my bin size is a bit bigger. I have 46 weeks that have had between 15 and 19 orders. And I have 13 weeks that have been ordered between 35 and 39 times. And down at the bottom, I've also created a parameter to allow you to change the bin size. If I change the bin size from five to 10, we can now see that we have 76 weeks that have had between 10 and 19 orders. Let's see how you do this in Tableau. I'm connected to the sample Superstore dataset that comes with Tableau. The first thing I want to do is count the number of orders. I'm going to create a new calculated field. Let's call this number of orders. And my formula is count distinct of order ID. Click on OK. If I right click on number of orders and go down to create, notice how bins isn't there. But if I right click on quantity, which is not a calculated field, and I go down to create, I do see bins. So in Tableau, if you have an aggregated calculation, you cannot create bins. But we can get around that with a level of detail expression. So let's edit that number of orders calculation. Let's call this number of orders per product. And we're going to make this a fixed level of detail expression. I'm going to start by typing in fixed on product ID and then a colon. And I'm going to leave my count distinct of order ID and close off the mustachio. So what this is telling me is for each product, how many orders have I had? Click on OK. And now if I right click on number of orders by product and go down to create, you can see the bins option. So choose that option. I'll leave the field name as it is for now. And I'm going to change the bin size to two. Click on OK. And now we have a new dimension called number of orders per product. Notice how Tableau has used a data type that looks like a histogram. That's just so that you know that you've created a bin. Drag that onto the columns. And now we want to count the number of products that have been ordered each of those number of times. Right click and drag product ID to the rows and choose count distinct of product ID. Click on OK. I'm going to turn my labels on. And now I can see I have 563 products that have been ordered either four or five times. If I want my bin size to be one, all I need to do is edit my bin calculation and change my bin size to one. Click on OK. And now I have a distribution that tells me the number of products that have been ordered each of these number of times. For example, I have 251 products that have been ordered six times. That's the simplest example for a histogram. Let's create a new sheet. This time, we're going to look at the number of weeks that have been in each order size. Let's create a new calculated field. Again, we need to use a level of detail expression. Let's call this orders per week. Our calculation is fixed, and we want to look at each individual week. So I need to use the date trunk function. My date part is week, comma, order date, my date field, colon, and then count distinct of order ID, and close off the mustachio. So what this is telling me is for each week, count the number of orders. Click on OK. Because that's a level of detail expression, I can create bins. Right click on orders per week and choose create and bins. Let's set the bin size to five. Click on OK and drag that field to the columns. Now, if we right click and drag order date to the rows to count the number of weeks, we don't have any option to count the number of weeks. So we're going to need to create a custom date. Click on cancel. Right click on order date go down to create and custom date. Let's name this field week. In our detail, we want to choose week numbers. And then let's leave it a date value. That's the same thing as doing date trunk on week, like we put inside of our level of detail expression. Click on OK. 
Now we can right click and drag that custom date to the rows and choose count distinct. Click on OK. Turn on your labels and now we can see we have 46 weeks where there's been between 15 and 19 orders. Great. This is a great way to show the distributions. What we want to do now is make this more flexible for the user to allow them to choose the size of the bins. Let's do that by creating a parameter. Click on the drop down in the data pane and choose create parameter. I'm going to name this bin size. I want the data type to be an integer. I'll set the current value to five so it matches what we have in the chart now. And I'll leave the allowable values to all. Click on OK. Right click on that bin size parameter and choose show parameter. Now all we need to do is update our bin calculation to use this bin size. Right click on orders per week bin and choose edit. In our drop down next to size of bins, choose bin size. Click on OK. Now if I change my bin size to 10, I can see I have 76 weeks where I've had between 10 and 19 orders. Great. Let's switch this maybe to 2. Now I can see I have 24 weeks that I've had either 18 or 19 orders. Let's switch it back to 5 and we're going to do a bit of analysis. So I can see down here on the end that there's been one week that's had 70 or more orders. If I click on that field, in my tooltip I can see this little signpost. Click on that signpost to open up the data guide. And this is where Tableau can actually do quite a bit of the analysis for you. If we go into our explanations and click on what is unique about 70, I can see Tableau has picked up three fields of interest. Let's look through each of these. Underneath the ship mode, Tableau says the distribution of records for ship mode is different for 70 from other marks, but no correlations were found. And if I scroll through my ship modes, nothing looks unusual. Let's shrink that back up. Open up subcategory. And the first thing I notice when I look at this is that we have a lot more orders in storage than we do typically. The blue bar represents the number of orders in storage where the gray bar represents the average number of orders in storage across the entire data set. Tableau says there's no correlations, and that's fine, but I am gonna note that that's an interesting point. Close subcategory. Now let's open up segment. Again, Tableau says there were no correlations found, but we can see that the number of orders in consumer is typically higher than it could be. When we look at segment, we can see that the percentage of orders in consumer is higher than it typically would be. So we have a couple of bits of information here that we can then do a bit further analysis. So my next step would be to create a new view, filter by the consumer segment, and also filter by storage. And that's all there is to it. That's how we create histograms in Tableau to understand distributions, how to create bins, how to create a parameter to allow the user to adjust the bin size, and also how to use the data guide to understand what the outliers might be telling us. If you found this useful, please give it a like. Leave any questions you have in the comments, and otherwise, I'll see you next time.